power, speed, and that epic sound. Have you been to Kami? Or have seen high performance vehicle pass by you? And it gets you wondering, how much do these cars cost? Well, I'm sure you're out there thinking these cars are really expensive cars, but not exactly. Right here with me, I've got the list of the cheapest cash ready monsters to keep in the car use market. And believe me when I tell you this, if you're not a car guy and have little to no driving experience, you definitely don't want to drive any of these cars. Are you ready for this list? For those of you that are new to this channel, make sure you consider subscribing. I am Abdubasit and you are watching Kanoroma. I'm sure you all watch movies, so that means you are all familiar with the aggressively looking cop car. It doesn't stop there because the Dodge Charger SRT is one of the most unusual looking tank ready to bully anyone off the street. It's actually rare to find a car that sounds mean, look mean, and accelerates with an exuberance of a monster car. And that's why in the US, it's difficult for supercar to outrun it. The Dodge SRT is an hardcore powerhouse producing a whopping 470 horsepower from a 6.4 litre V8 engine. Place your feet on the throttle and you get a rumbling V8 sound. The SRT 8 offers practicality, competent handling and a really strong brakes. You want to know the good news? With less than 8 million air, you can get this bad boy. But what if you are not interested in being practical and you want a more striking styling of a modern day muscle car? Now, that's where the Camaro SS steps in, with its thunderous V8 that will do burnout and corner excellently out of a curve. The Camaro SS is ultimately an excellent performance car with its manual transmission that dispenses 60 miles per hour in a blistering 5.0 seconds. Here is the best part. The 6.2 liter V8 engine found in the manual transmission Camaro SS is essentially borrowed from the VET. Yes, this Chevrolet Convert. So by now you should understand what kind of power lies inside this beast. But unfortunately, the automatic SS model gets a slightly less powerful variant V8 engine. You can get this for a 9 million naira or less. Okay, I get it. Not everyone wants that untamed beast. The next on this list is still a beast, but this time in tuxedos. The Jaguar XFR is a prime choice luxury sports sedan that boasts of a powerful V8 cranking out 510 horsepower from its 5.0 liter supercharged engine, and it makes up with a very beautiful exhaust mode. And yes, the XFR gives its class like the Mercedes Benz E63 and the BMW M5 a run for their money. The XFR offers blends of sophisticated good manner and an available high tech features. You can pick this baby up at the dealer for less than 13 million naira. Now, why not talk about the highly competitive and sophisticated version of the German muscle cars? The Mercedes Benz AMG C63 is an highly desirable performance machine that sets itself way above its competition. The C63 travels from a 0 to 60 time in an impressive 4.2 seconds, that supercar level, and it packs a ferocious gear that matches the mighty Cadillac CTVS performance in a straight line. You can get this bad boy laying around for about 11 million naira and above. But what if you decide to go with and want that muscle car that hasn't changed that much since its debut, that no one could even tell what model you're in, except for that dummy car guy friend. The Dodge Challenger SRT8 borrows heavily from the original 1970 to 1974 Challenger and still looks similar till today. It was the most powerful in 2009 which came in a 6.1 litre V8 engine, packing 426 horsepower and an automatic timing of 5.1 seconds from 0 to 60 and a 13.2 seconds in a quarter mile race. But was it good at the corners? No, it was very famous for its epic V8 sound. You can pick this bad boy up for under 7 million naira. Some might argue the BMW M5 is no longer the king of all performance sedan. But it's still a classic for its age, and it's the only M5 powered by an insane 5.0 litre V10 engine, pumping out a maximum 500 horsepower. That's just crazy. The M5 ripped from 0 to 60 in 4.4 seconds. Many argue the M5 is the most fun car to drive, even though the Mercedes Benz E63 is a fraction quicker than the M5. But hey, there are some downsides to owning this BMW M5. 
you see the bmw m5 is not very reliable because it's got some few engine issues and transmission issues so you might want to watch out for this now let's go back in time and let's find out which car manufacturer is responsible for other car brands putting way too much power into a car making them complete total tire shredding monsters this is the culprit the e55 in 2003 the mercedes-benz started the horsepower war but at that time it made just about 469 horsepower which is still quite a lot of power for today two years later they built a more powerful version which made 507 horsepower from a 6.3 liter naturally aspirated v and boom this power came about without the help of turbo charging or supercharging the power is sent to the rear wheels only by a seven speed shiftable automatic transmission and is capable of delivering a top speed of 155 miles per hour and a 0 to 60 time of 4.5 seconds a mid condition of these cars are beginning to go up in value so if you find yourself one just get it and now let's talk about the brand that took the horsepower game way above the roof and now i'm talking the ultimate tire shredding monster yes it's a cadillac the cadillac ctvs will be just about any super sedan on the racetrack and it's got style and value to gone back then when the first generation cts was still in production the guys at cadillac had this vital idea to drop in a corvette engine into a cts yes the corvette and they called it the cts v its performance number were indeed impressive as it was relatively affordable and much quicker compared to its German rival. The CTSV is powered by a 6.2 liter supercharged V8 from a Corvette ZR1 and it pushes out 558 horsepower. It pushes down a 0 to 60 time in 4.3 seconds and it finished a quarter mile race in 12.4 seconds. And you want to know the funniest thing about this car? From its look, there is no way you would believe it has a big rumbling V8 under the hood. And that brings me to number one which is the craziest, fastest, and most understated cars you ever see on this list and is also responsible for the huge grill you see in newer cars these days. Unlike every other cars on this list that are rear-wheel drive cars, the Audi C6 RS6 is an all-wheel drive monster that is powered by a 5.0 liter twin turbo V10 engine, similar to the ones you find in the Lamborghini Gallardo. Yes, this exotic sport car for the detuned version, which puts out 580 horsepower, sending power to all four wheels via Audi's Quattro all wheel drive system. It's not the most fun car to drive, but it's got an absolutely gorgeous exhaust sound. And it's also the quickest car on this list with a 0 to 60 time of 3.5 seconds and a top speed of 155 miles per hour. If I was getting one, I'd prefer to go for the fast estate version because it looks very sick being very practical. But mind you, this particular car is very cheap in the car used market. But if anything goes wrong, this car costs a lot to fix. So there you have it. My pick of the best performance monsters with 500 horsepower you can buy for cheap right now. Let me know which you prefer to have in the comment section down below. And if you're new to cars or want to know more about crazy cars out there, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss another of my uploads. I'll see you in my next video.